Alright everyone, welcome to the Pop Culture Street and girl, today we are going to be talking about two items, you know, that are going around. The first one is Miss uh, Jennifer Lopez, you know, everything is related to J-Lo right now, her separation, her divorce, you know, every single day we are getting new pieces of tea, you know, where, uh, the question is, are they going to get back together or not, okay? Like how this is going to end? Everyone, you know, I think for the first time, I, I, I have seen a lot of people wanting them to get divorced, but also a lot of people being like, no, fight for it. You know, you deserve to be happy. And the worst part is we have zero clarification of what it's going on, you know. Now, I, I, as I have told you before, she officially banned all questions about Ben Affleck from every single show or every single thing that she uh, might be doing. And everyone is asking why, you know, I mean, again, she should be keeping this real. You know, I think the only, because she's going through such a big PR crisis right now, the only thing that will save her is keeping it real, being real, you know? And I think that's something that celebrities are starting to like really struggle right now. I have seen it not only with Jennifer Lopez, but with a bunch of celebrities where they still want to pretend that they are perfect. Not only the celebrities, but like the managers, the networks, you know, the movie uh, things, you know, they, they still want to pretend that their celebrities are perfect and everything is flopping left and right. Hollywood right now, it's on the floor because people are so tired and I think they are not realizing that this goes even like this is bigger than than just a movie or just someone not liking them. I think we are going through a cultural shift, you know, and part of that cultural change is that we do not like fakeness anymore. You know, we, we don't like... Uh, filters we don't like excessive makeup we don't like people uh, making up stupid stories to cover their asses you know we don't like any of this shit anymore we want everyone to be raw to let us know that oh they are human beings and i think that's the part that jennifer lopez is also struggling again a lot of celebrities are going through the same thing because they all want to keep everything a secret they all want to be like, oh, no, 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 everything is perfect. It is not like that. And the world is not having it. Look at her new movie, Atlas. You know, completely flop. The reviews are on the floor because people are like, what? You know, and also flopping because people don't want to see Jennifer Lopez anymore. You know, they are, they are going around being like, like, you are not who we want right now. You have been an asshole to everyone. We are not playing with you anymore, right? And then she still keeps keeping it fake. And believe me, if she will change her strategy, she will start changing people's minds, you know? But I don't know if she's going to be able to or capable to uh, doing like something like this, you know? Another news is saying that, you know, that she's already moving on, that she's already looking for other houses, you know? She spent, I don't know how many months looking for her dream home with Ben Affleck. And now, apparently, she's already looking for another dream home for herself. So it's like, you know, that people are saying that she's ready to move on, that she is already done with, the, with that marriage, you know, that she's done with Ben Affleck. Uh, ben Affleck is staying somewhere else, you know, and they barely spend... Or like they're not really spending any time together whatsoever, you know? I mean, it is sad, but at this point, I think it is what it is. You know, either you work on your marriage or you freaking get a divorce, you know? But you you own it to the world to let the people, to let people know, you know? Because the world is who make you who you are. And look at Jennifer Lopez's career right now. If that's not a perfect example, you know, of you are make what your fans want you to be then what it is you know because i have seen also horrible like actors or celebrities who are so big just because they have like 
millions and millions of millions of fans around the world, you know? So I, I know they want to pretend that it's because they are talented, you know, and this and that. That doesn't make you anymore, boo. So anyways, that's what is happening with Jennifer Lopez. Let me know what you guys think on the comments below. Now, let's talk a little bit about Miss Bethany Frankel. Girl. Miss Bethany, it is so unhinged. And I'm starting to think maybe she's suffering from some kind of condition. I don't know what is the name of a condition when you get like very obsessed with something, you know, and then go with that until you get tired of it. And then you move into like another thing, you know, um, all of the shit that she did with the reality reckoning, you know, and like, I'm going to change the reality world, you know, and like, oh my God, the world is going to know me like Bethany Frankel 2024, you know, and she did the most and she had interviews and she did this and she talked to people and lawyers and like, oh my God, this is going to be it. Girl, dead. No mention about that anymore. That was like now part of her past, right? And now, uh, since then, you know, some days ago, she is going in on this Chanel situation. Now, I don't know if you know what happened or not. I'm going to tell the whole story. Um, Bethany decided to go into a Chanel store wearing nothing, not nothing, but like wearing like regular clothes with a bag of McDonald's, you know, on her hand. And she just decided to go in. She wanted to go into a Chanel store and they denied it her entrance. Right. Girl. This this is like, oh, my God, we need the president over here. You know, girl, tell me why she start going into her TikToks, you know, and calling them out. Then the next day or a couple of days after she goes back into Chanel of course, wearing like an amazing suit and looking like I'm a millionaire and they accept her into Chanel. Okay. She goes in and she just wanted to prove the point that she was, that, that they were going to let her in. And then she literally just came out again. And she says like, look, no problem whatsoever. You know? So she was calling out Chanel for being elitist, you know, for being, you know, all of that. This is the thing, okay? Um, but it doesn't end up there, okay? Like, like, give, me, give me a second. This is the thing. Um, initially, I was like, well, that's kind of like fucked up. You know, like, of course, anyone could should be able to go into any store. But like, for example, for me, who lives here in Los Angeles, I go to Beverly Hills all the time, right? And you know, when you go to these high-end stores, like, the way that they treat you, the, the way that they look at you, you know, it could be very judgy. It is extremely judgy sometimes, you know? And I'm like, yeah, like, they, they don't make you feel welcome. But I feel that's why these brands are where they are, you know? That's why you just not don't go and buy a Louis Vuitton, you know, every day. Because a freaking jacket is like $5,000. You know what I mean? Same with this, like Chanel, you know, or Prada, or uh, Yves Saint Laurent, you know, or uh, I don't know, any of the stores that are, you know, around there. Uh, I think those are high-end stores for a reason, you know, and I, I do agree that they should not be judging people, you know. They, I mean, let them in, let them go in. You know that they're not going to buy the $9,000, you know, scarf. It is what it is. Who cares, Right. Uh, but yeah, that part, like I was like agreeing with Bethany as usual with Bethany, there is a part that you like, and there is a part that you don't like, but then this girl got obsessed and she has doing TikTok after TikTok after TikTok, you know, calling out Chanel, calling out Chanel. Like she literally went on and um, make herself a fake Chanel tattoo. She, I mean, she was doing the most, you know. Probably because she saw it got some views, you know, so she was like really milking that situation, which I'm like, aren't you like a multi-million dollar girl? Like, why do you need the views on TikTok? You know, but anyways, I mean, do TikTok for fun. I don't think, why are you, are you doing TikTok for the coins? Like, I don't get it, right? But anyways, uh, eventually it got like a little bit big that Chanel had to like, put a statement out there, you know? So uh, this girl called Laura M. Morris, she says, 
there was a private cell for VIP clients and it was by appointment only at heavily trafficked boutiques that day. It is almost always by appointment, only preview days for VIP clients and sales at the larger boutiques. The fashion advisors have a lot of regular clients, so they can't always take walk-ins if there is some special event at the boutique. If you are a good client and call your fashion advisor or ma manager, they will get you an appointment even last minute they will accommodate you. It had nothing to do with the way she looked. Nobody was av available to assist her. And it makes a lot of sense, you know, because on all of this time, even in these stores, you know, they will judge you. They will look at you like shit, but I have never seen that they will like forbid you or deny you entrance, you know, to go into the store, right? So it will, it, it will make sense that maybe there was something going on in there. So I don't know if Bethany knew this and now she's trying to make Chanel look back just for the views and the cloud, you know, or is this a misunderstanding? But something is like, like, girl, go to therapy because this is not normal. <laughs> okay, like she got onto something and it's like she needs to do it and do it and do it and do it. Until one day she got tired and then she just moved into the next one. I mean, champagne problems, I guess, right? I don't know. So anyways, let me know what you guys think on the comments below about that situation. All right, guys. So that's it for the pop culture streets today. But don't go anywhere because it is time for the juiciest part of the show. And those are my...